No, he's made it, which means that he is recognized in the art world as a... As, a, as, a, name. as an artist. Yes. Painter. Yes. Who is it? Martin Mull. Murray. I don't huh? know why I'm thinking that way. No, it's it's still my, my actual name. <laughs> this is kind of a milestone for me. I was going to... Uh, standing back there, I just couldn't get over it. I've been on the show, I think, now going on close to 15 years for various reasons, etc., and it's always been fun. But tonight, really, it's kind of a series, is the first night that I've ever been on the show for the money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, paintings aren't going so well, or just... You know, That's I, funny. even after my agent takes the $53, uh, <laughs> Coming to him, there's still enough left. Still you know, a few. By pre World War One standards, to, you sure, know, you can buy the essentials to of eat. Life. Yeah. yeah. Well, people, you know, as know, this show has never paid what you would call a, a large fee. But people have actually stopped me uh, sometimes and said, "What are you doing?" You know, my stock answer would be the truth, like nothing, right. or something like that. And they said, "But you, you're doing the Carson show every now and then, so you got to be kind of doing <laughs> pretty well." Again, huh? Huh? It's, it's amazing what they think. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, people come on and have nothing to plug, you know. It's un unusual, but just to be here, just, just for the cold cash Just tonight. for the cold cash, yeah. yeah. Going to use that money later on, spend it going to the Hollywood Bowl tonight. Yeah. Want to get there early so I can rent shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that bowl. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a nine-laner, isn't it's it? It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> it's league night. Of course, of course. Vons versus Ralphs, I think, tonight, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mentioned now you, you're appearing, what, quasi-regularly or semi-regularly on Roseanne? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, pretty darn regularly yeah. is, is what it says on the contract. Uh, Your agent just leaves us a little... Right. I think I'm, out of the next 13 shows, I'm supposed to appear on nine of them. So that's pretty regular. Exactly. And um, exactly. uh, also, uh, along with that, uh, proving that something I've always felt, and that is that any act of charity constitutes a lack of judgment. Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, the, the Arnold family elected to have me appointed as a producing uh, writer. Uh, uh, the actual technical title is, uh, thank you, executive consultant or executive something to that consultant. effect. Yeah, and That's it's right. caused me to actually have to write half-hour sitcoms, which I've never done before in my life, and it's very difficult. Yeah, I know. I now watch with a different mindset, you know, when I see, and uh, used to just go, woo, you know, but now I realize that's hard to write that stuff. If to sit down and come up with 23 minutes on a half-hour show, I guess it's To know where the jokes go. I don't even know where the commas go yeah, as I far mean, as writing. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, it's, you know, to start off with a beginning and a middle and an end sounds, right. you know, but you, to build and have it sustained is not easy work. But I've done one, and it feels like good work. It also gives me kind of a ready answer now to something that I've always asked asked myself uh, as an actor, and that is sooner or later, and that is like, who wrote this crap? <laughs> now, now, now I can just you say, can say hey, I know the guy, I right here. Tell. Thank you. Now, the character you play is, uh, is a home He's person. fatuous, he's bilious, he's duplicitous, and keeping with a the Greek theme, <laughs> uh, he, uh, yeah, he has different sexual preference is than that myself. A, is that a challenge for an actor? Certainly. It's, um... Without being a character, because, you know, nobody wants to do that. Well, I don't know why no one wants to do it. A character, I mean, uh... uh yeah, well, you don't want to do a caricature. The, the step one is to treat everyone, if you're playing anyone, I guess, as a human being right. first. Uh, I mean, it, I've, I've played a lawyer, for instance, and I've never been to law school. I know there are a lot of lawyers that, that do that on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, that's yes, I've had some of them. Unique yeah. problems of, of actors, but... Um, in this case, the gentleman is gay, and it's just going to play it as a... It wouldn't make any more of the fact that someone else was heterosexual. Right. I can say that in the air, can I? Yes. Okay. Um, um, so we're not going to make any more yeah. of it than that. It's good, it's, it's good to see because that. Because it, it's, all, it's all pretend when right. you think about it. I mean, it's all... There's a, a modicum of insincerity to any acting job because it's not you. Right. So it's... I have to confess, even now, now that the uh, job is so well taken by Jay... And not up for grabs. Uh, there were times when I guest hosted here, I know. which I'll never forget, that I actually, moments behind that desk where I actually had to get just that close to not being sincere. <laughs> I know. Hard to believe. I know. Hard to believe. Well, you know, you get some guest over here that, well, we know that the, the human being is, uh, is, is we're 70% water. 
Okay, uh, this person lived up to that, and the other 30% was collagen. <laughs> yeah. and, and you'd sit there and you'd look at the notes, and, and you'd have to say something like, I understand you brought along some of your poetry to read. Gee, oh. that sounds like fun. Right. You know, that kind of thing. There are moments that insincere. creep up over the years like that, and you just kind of go with the flow. Yeah, do you, do you ever find yourself just hating the question you have to ask someone? What? I was like, <laughs> Oh. I brought along some of my poetry. No, not really, not with you, because, you know, we can sit here and talk about anything. Okay. If I brought any subject up, uh, up at all. Absolutely. Your art, you gave me a very nice, uh, very nice, was that, was that a lithograph, or was that a, a copy of uh, it's a, a print? It, a it's print? a lithograph. No, that's the actual lithograph one of your, uh, that, uh, I love your style of painting. Thank you. That, that was accepted to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in a permanent print collection, Isn't probably. It? Thank you. That's great. I'm going to do this first. Okay. Yeah. We'll do this first, and we're going to come back, folks. Let's do that. If you just join us, we are talking to Mr. Martin Moe. Along with your art, the Roseanne gig, you, uh... You got, the you got a voiceover. The, the I'm doing the first voiceover work I ever did. There's a show... Um, in case people don't know what that means, you're not seen on screen, but the... Just your voice is, yes. is heard on right. screen, or mm -hmm. through the speaker, yeah, actually. Right. Um, <laughs> actually, this kind of... Like, another milestone. I just realized I'm on NBC tonight, the uh, Rosanna's on ABC, and this is a CBS show called Family Dog that uh, Steven Spielberg was the executive producer. They did it as a... Uh, as an episode of... Uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, his big show, long time. It doesn't matter, does it? But it's going to be on this uh, this fall. And you play the voice. I play. Yeah, you know, the, they got me because of a voice, and I had never thought of myself as having any kind of distinctive voice. Well, I'm from the Midwest, like yourself, right. and I figure I just sound normal. And you play a dog. Do I play. No, I don't play the dog. Oh. I play the dad. Oh, I see. I no, just dad. Sorry. Uh, Skip. His name is. <laughs> but the idea that I would have a unique voice is was. Uh, Phenomenal to me because I have change a, your normal speaking no, voice. No, no, I just talk like I am now. But I get recognized sometimes on the street for my voice. Someone say, "I thought that was you from the voice," and I can't imagine what on earth they might hear. Yeah, because as you say, uh, basically you don't have any uh, any reason, accent. Reason, reason, you reason you consider accent. yourself as having an accent of any sort. No, but I suppose if somebody was from Mississippi, would say I did. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So. Now, would you recognize his voice anytime you heard him? Right. Yeah. yeah. You probably saw. See, I don't understand that. But uh, I was in Texas once and uh, just talking. I don't understand the it either. <laughs> and somebody hollered from across the room. I mean, they, they, Crowded didn't, room? they didn't know my name. No, it was, <laughs> and our eyes met. It was wonderful. <laughs> but this lady says, hey, Roy, look, it's 1030 on 32. <laughs> That's how she knew me by name. But it was all just from my voice. 1030 o'clock on channel? On channel 32. She didn't know my name, but knew the voice and knew the call letters. Hey, uh, Roy was the guy? Roy. Roy. Roy, look, it's 1030 on 32. I, 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 I was, was going to guess it'd be and Roy or something like that. It was Roy. 1030 channel. Had it written on his shirt. Right. Right, uh, right near the little plastic. You bet. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's see, what haven't we covered? We covered now, you have another desire you're going to do in the sporting world. You're going to play, I don't know if you're going to play football. Well, I, the I, Cleveland Browns? I would love to. Um, that's an... Yeah! That's another milestone that I have a birthday coming up, and I've made it a point uh, for several years running now to uh, always be able to... I'm a field goal kicker. And didn't know. always be able to kick my age. I want to be able to kick in yardage the same number of years I've logged. I think it's the least you can expect of a man. Um, <laughs> it's a worthwhile goal if there ever yeah, was one. It's, yeah. it's tough before three, and it's tough after 50. But I think in that range in there, you can make sure you can kick your own age. And I was toying with 47 yards. I was hitting from 47, which is pretty respectable. That's, that's very good. 48 is looming large on August. Uh, so you're going to go out with the, the Browns in their tra during training camp or something and kick field goals? Oh, I've already done that. Oh, but the good news is I hit from 50 yards last Friday. So that's I have two more years. Yeah. Two more years. And boy, is my leg tired. I'll bet it is. It's flowing in here. But I went back to spring practice with the Browns. Oh, that's amazing. Did you ever play football? Uh, in high school. Were you I, a place kicker? Uh, yes, I was because my, I, I tried once to be the, a guard, and I challenged the first team. And the guy was much bigger. Came around with an elbow the first time and knocked the tip of my nose all the way over here. <laughs> The doctor told me there were 11 separate fractures. And, and the way uh, they said it back then, let me show you on Ed. Uh, <laughs> no. The doctor came up and he went, oh, yeah, oh, boy, yeah, you've done it. Oh, you sure have. Oh, boom. Uh -oh. They came around with the side of his hand. That's what they picked do? up the edge of my mm. nose, and I, and I let out the appropriate scream. He said, I'm sorry. 
And I let him know that I'm sorry doesn't really cover it. Right. You know? And he said, no, 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 no. He said, I'm sorry because usually I get it on the first one. <laughs> You don't know it's coming, so it doesn't hurt that much. I'm going to have to do that again. Oh. At which point he did. That's the way they really... That's the way they set the houses They just back took there. them and pulled them out. Yeah. yeah. So that made me want to be a kicker all the more. I can imagine. <laughs> Kickers very seldom even get touched in games, yeah. John. If they no. do, there's a, there's a penalty for exactly. them, right? They stay clean and dry and yeah. not hurt. So what else is in your life? Your art show is going well. You, how, did you do well with the art show that you held? I sold quite a few pieces. And as right. I say, the, the piece went into the Met. That, that's yeah. uh, a real... Uh, shot in the arm for me because I'm not dead <laughs> and, and to uh, that's right have a piece in the museum is is wonderful to be able to do Does that, that increase your uh, the price of your uh, your painting because you happen to hang in the Metropolitan yeah it should right. I'm, I'm really counting on it increasing it uh, to the point where it's just an unconscionable amount <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you don't have to come here anymore and pick up the well yeah you know that's that 53 bucks as I say <laughs> it's, 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 that's a lot of oil paint no, the, the, the paintings didn't work fairly well. We're in a recession right now, yeah. but I think uh, they'll start to pick up a little bit more. Yeah. They're right. sofa-sized, and people should have them. Yes, certainly. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a, uh, a break here, and we're going to return, folks. That's right, set your VCR. 10.30.